Hello friends, welcome to our mathematics program for grade 7. Today we are going to talk about geometrical construction. Well, this is the first part of our program, okay? So, what is geometrical construction? What are we going to see? Well, the first thing, we are going to see how to use geometrical instrument. Secondly, we are going to see how to construct a line segment. And then we are going to see how to construct a line which is parallel to another line. Okay? Right. Let's start. Now, when we talk about geometrical construction, which word can we hear? It's the word geometry. Okay? Now, let's see. Where can we see geometry in real life? Well, the first thing is that geometry can be seen in architecture, right? You see that picture? That's the Louvre Museum in Paris. Really nice. The second one, we can see geometry in nature, okay? And then in art. This piece of work was done by Miles Tullen, so you can see geometry there. And then, dear friends, well, you use geometry in construction, of course, right? So you need to be more careful now when you travel. You can see geometry everywhere. Okay, right. Now, we are talking in this video about geometrical construction, okay? So, what do we mean by that? Well, geometrical construction means to construct line segments angle and shapes, but this has to be done accurately, right? This is very important. You are not sketching, okay? You can do that on your sketch pad, but here we are going to construct the shapes accurately, okay? So you need to be precise, right? Now, how will we do that? Well, we're going to make use of mathematical instrument. Now, what are these mathematical instruments? We're going to use the ruler, the compasses, the set squares, and the protractor. Okay, so the first instrument that you will see is the ruler. Okay, you all know what a ruler is. Well, this one is a big one. Okay, you will not use this one to do your drawing. You will use a smaller one. Okay, now, why do we need a ruler? The ruler will be used to draw lines and to measure distances, right? The second one, you're going to use the set square. That's it, okay? That's the big one. And you, dear friend, you're going to use the smaller one, okay? You've got two of them. Right? Now, why do we use set square? Set squares are used to draw parallel and perpendicular lines. We're going to show you how to do that. The third one, you're going to use a pair of compasses or simply the compass. That's the big one, right? This is a pair of compasses, right? You for your drawing, you're going to use this one, which is much smaller, right? And more practical for you to use. Now, why do we use a pair of compasses? It is used to draw arc and circle. Okay? Right? Now, be careful when you're using this pair of compasses. Why? Because you may hurt yourself with this part, okay? You've got two legs. One is where you put the pencil and this one, you need to be careful. So that's for the pair of compasses. And lastly, you're going to use the protractor. You've seen that already when you did angles, right? So that's the protractor. For you, it will be the smaller one, okay, which is more practical for you to use. Now, remember the protractor is used to measure 
angles and these angles are in degrees right now we move on to some tips when using a pair of compasses now you need to be careful to be careful about what well this that's the hinge which is at the top of your pair of compasses you need to ensure that it is well tightened it should not be loose that's the first thing second the tip of your pencil it should be a fine tip why because we need to draw thin lines okay remember geometrical construction is about drawing accurately so this the tip of your pencil has to be a fine tip then you need to ensure that the hold of this pencil right that it is tightened so that your pencil does not slip okay and then finally always align these two so the pencil okay should be aligned with the needle always okay right now let's move on now we are going to see how to construct a line segment well how are we going to do that suppose that you are asked to draw a line segment a b of length 20 centimeters right how do we proceed first you will draw a line segment of any length suppose it's like this okay now you're asked to draw a line segment what's the name of the line segment it's a line segment a b so here is your a simple right now what do you need to do it should be of length 20 centimeter okay how are we going to do that so we are going to use our pair of compasses to measure the 20 centimeters right okay let's do it so this point right you're going to put it on the zero and then you measure 20 centimeters so here centimeters so here it is right that's it okay now that's 20 centimeters good how do we proceed now you place the pointer on a okay like this and then you will simply draw an arc right to, that will cut the line segment that you did so this cut that you can see here that's your point b and that's it you've got a line a b of length 20 centimeter right let's move to another one now suppose that you need to draw a line segment pq of length 35 centimeters how do we proceed well let's do it first thing you will draw your line okay now this line is supposed to be of length 35 centimeters well you're going to label here p okay and then what do we do well you take your compasses and you will measure 35 centimeters okay so put the pointer on zero measure 35 centimeters okay right the pointer on p here and you will draw your arc that's simple okay so this cut here that you can see that will be your point q so what do we have we have a line segment pq which is of length 35 centimeters here are a few exercises for you to practice. Let's see that together. Question number one. You're going to use your pair of compasses to construct a line segment of length 
First part, 5 cm. Second part, 9.4 cm. 7.3 cm. 10.7 cm. Secondly, using a pair of compasses, construct a line segment AB of length 8.6 cm. Now, look at this one. If AC is half of AB, use your compasses to construct AC and measure its length. See how beautiful it is, this question? Right. Now, let's move on to construction of a line parallel to a given line. Okay, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to move back to the first line segment that we have done. Okay, now to construct parallel lines, remember what we said at the beginning, we are going to use the set square, right? We're going to use that to construct parallel lines. Now, let's proceed. How are we going to do it? Well, first thing, we will place the set square on the line. See here? Right? So that's your set square. And the ruler, the ruler is always placed perpendicular to the line. So you've got your ruler, which is perpendicular to the line, and the set square is on the line. And then what do you do? Well, you just need to move either up or down. Right? Now, let's try it. Okay, suppose that I want to draw a line which is parallel to AB but up. Okay, you can do it here. And then what do you do? Well, you just draw the, your line. That's simple. Now, if I want to do it down, well, you move your set square down and then you draw your line. Okay? So, what do we have? We, we've got two parallel lines. Parallel to what? Parallel to AB. Okay? Try another example now. Okay, let's see this one. Now, what do we need to do? We need to draw a line parallel to PQ. How are we going to do it? Now, remember, you place your set square along the line and the ruler is perpendicular to the line. Okay, like this. And then what do we do? Well, you just move either left or right. Okay, suppose that I want it to be here. You just draw your line. Okay, and then you move here. That's it. And then what do you do? Well, you draw your line. Okay, so what do we have? We have two parallel lines. And these lines are parallel to PQ. Okay, right? Now, let's try another example. What can we see here? Well, this line is what we call a slant line. You've done that in reflection, right? How do we do it? Well, it seems a bit more difficult. Let's try it. Now, the set square is always placed on the line, okay? And the ruler is perpendicular to the line. And then what do we do? Well, you just need to move it. You slide it either up or down. Here it is. Right? So, what do we have here? We've got two parallel lines. Parallel to what? Parallel to L. M. Okay? Now, we move on to some exercises for you to practice. Now, copy the lines below in your copybook. Use your set square and ruler to construct a line parallel to the given lines. Remember, you can do it either to the left or to the right or up and down. You decide. Second, Construct a horizontal line segment AB of length 6 centimeters. How are you going to 
draw the line parallel, you're going to use your set square and ruler. Third, construct a vertical line segment PQ of length 5.4 cm and then using your set square and ruler, draw a line parallel to PQ. Okay, so what have we seen today? Well, we have talked about geometry in real life. We have seen geometrical construction. Okay, we have seen the different instrument that we're going to use. And then we have seen how to construct line segment, right? And parallel lines, right? So that's all for now. You need to work the exercises which are in this video as well as the exercises in your textbook that's important right so until we see each other again in the next video it's goodbye for now